Hi to Chaco. We have a Dev Knight here for uh, Mr. Sheik. Also, a Crypt here. You are right about the Crypt. Not the Crypt Lord, but you're right about the Crypt, uh, Frido Kun. We have a Crypt and maybe a Lord. The, the Dev Knight will probably be a Lord. So we have a, a Crypt, a Lord, and a Fast Expand for Human. Yeah, Frido Kun, you're completely correct. Uh, we have uh, Archmates here for Chamico. Sad, Lucifer didn't make it to the finals. M maybe next week. There's two more qualifiers left. The light might qualify still as well, but he keeps not showing up. Maybe he just falls asleep very early. And, uh, you know, the player that is going to lose this final will be here next week again, I guess. Yeah, just summarize it, lol. Uh, actually, do we have a lord? No, we have a baron. Oh, you were wrong. <laughs> it's a crypt baron fast expand. Another crypt lord. Uh, circlet here for the archmates. Picks up the circlet, and there goes the first little trapper. We have one footman. Oh, coil on the archmates. That must hurt. Does it hurt? It doesn't look like it hurts. It looks like just a skull, uh, a black green skull that goes in, into your body, but I mean, that doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> Alright, he kills a peon, a uh, uh, sheep, or someone did at least. The skeleton takes a lot of damage. Can he get XP? Yes, he gets XP! Beautiful shot there by the Archmage with his uh, fireball. From some fireballs at this Baron, Baron Morte. He's still alive though, he's still uh, plenty of hit points. Come the ghouls. Here comes the attack. attack. More ghouls. More attack. The skeleton. If he kills the skeleton, by the way, he's level two, right? No, it's not enough. The skeleton. One skeleton, not enough. Here, here come the militia. The Archmage. Oh, the death knight. He sees the militia, and he almost gets surrounded. But he's fine. <laughs> Man, those fireballs. They take some weird turns. That was over 90 degrees turn there to hit the death knight. And he's gonna keep this, but here come the ghouls. And the Archmage is level two for Chamiko. Level two Archmage. The, the sheep blocking the Archmage, he kills the sheep because uh, he was blocking him. And uh, did the Death Knight get some. Yeah, he killed a level three, but does not kill anything else. Archmage get the gloves of haste. This peasant goes down. Now we have a nice 73 XP on this Death Knight. Can he kill something else, like another peasant, for example? Archmage throwing some more uh, fireballs at his base. And this peasant, oh, he gets that XP as well. Look at this, 98 XP now on this Death Knight. Can he not get another peasant in the Archmage? You know, he's just fighting skeletons. He gets this kill on the skeleton. Oh, and there is a coil on the ghoul. And that's another kill there, this peasant. 123 XP. That's uh, one creep kill. And uh, three peasants. There goes another ghoul, though. That's one dead ghoul. First ghoul that died, actually. Archmage is uh, trying to get the second ghoul as well. Now the ghoul gets away safely. The skeletons, they do all die though. And he, this ghoul here, maybe he can get this ghoul. Tries to kill it. Now the ghoul will probably... I'm, I'm not sure. Is he going to hunt him down? 65 hit points. The horse, of course, runs pretty fast. The ghoul's down to 6 hit points. Oh, and he does not give XP. But two ghouls did die. One gave XP, one did not. And the Death Knight is just uh, chilling. He's just chilling. He's a tier 2 now. Graveyard going up. Ziggurat going up. He's going back to the expansion. Can he do some damage with these five, five ghouls only? Of course, he has plenty of ghouls here that are still Players chopping the trees. They're going to move to the graveyard. There's a panda. Five ghouls and a panda. Let's see how much damage he can do. The peasants are already split. Pre-split. Uh, ghouls. I don't think they can do much, but let's see what they can do. Show me, Sheik. Definitely uses a coil on the... On the oh, he's going for the expansion. Straight for the expansion. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, I feel like he's just going to lose the game here. But Okay, now, now he goes for a peasant. One more ghoul goes down. Panda loses all his mana, only use one breath of fire. These ghouls are taking so much damage, they are definitely taking so much damage. This doesn't look very good for Mr. Sheik. 
His staff died just to, uh, down to 50 hit points. His ghouls all died. All five ghouls died. And, uh... Oh, actually... All five ghouls died. And uh, the Archmage is level 3.6. The Death Knight is still level 1. The Panda is still level 1. He has uh, 26 XP. How? What is 26 XP? That is uh, 52 divided by 2. One peasant. And two peasants. Two peasants, of course. You might say, wait, a peasant is 25. So it should be 12 and a half times 2 is 25. I don't know how it works. I don't know how he's 26 XP. I don't know. Maybe they, they round it up and they don't give half XP's. Anyway, Sheik, GG's, and that is game one of the finals. Let, what Archmage do we get here? It is a 10 flame caster. So it's maybe a water elemental. There's an uh, Acolyte. Can he steal any creeps here? Death Knight is going out to uh, harass. Let's see if the Acolyte can steal something. Oh, the Acolyte is under attack. He wakes up the creeps with a nice Archmage blocking the Acolyte and oh, he misses the kill on the Acolyte. Does not get the XP. The, tree, the creeps kill the, exp, uh, the Acolyte and get the XP. I, I told three Dutch models to chuck with my friend then they wanted to sleep with me directly. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, this water mental, 44 hit points, 26, he got XP, right? Yes, 42 XP, and this peasant is also going to die. He still has a coil available. Maybe coil this guy. Yes, he coils that guy. Beautiful play by Sheik. And this Mr. Peasant goes down as well. 92 XP, two peasants, and a water elemental. And only use 75 mana and, you know, one world of necromancy. Archmage will get this skill here. And maybe the item as well. Content of Ogre Strength. The Gloss of Haste, not that great of an item unless you get some more DPS. On that Archmage, uh, Gauntlet of Ogre Strength is pretty good, of course. Pretty good item. Okay, well, he's going for the expansion now. Is he going for the expansion now or later? Later, it seems. Death Knight gets some uh, fireballs on his face. Now this uh, skeleton is my foot back. Ziggurat is is going up. Skeleton is going down. Still no militia. Is he going for this creep gun? first or this one maybe we have one fiend out the death knight uh, he needs to get level two but he doesn't have to okay here come the militia he's going for the expansion skeleton scouts it though and the death knight oh he takes so much damage level one death knight is just so vulnerable these two skeletons the third fourth skeleton against the archmage the death knight takes so much damage from this uh, archmage and he coils uh, level 3. He's still not level 2 though. He needs 60 more XP. He's fiend. And the uh, skeleton's going for uh, something. The death time, man. He's 60 hit points. He cannot do anything anymore. 42 hit points. 21 hit points. Archmage get these items. He's gonna be level 3. Uh, not yet, actually. This will. Uh, unless, no. 1 XP off of level 3. And the death knight. What is the fiend? Oh, this one will give him level 3, of course. And there it is, level 3. He gets one of mana stealing. Not the best item, but against Death Knight, it doesn't have much mana. Maybe it's pretty good. He's building more fiends. Great. He's going to creep over here. Here comes the Archmage. This doesn't look very good for Sheik. This looks uh, the opposite of very good. Which is uh, very bad. Looks very bad for Sheik. This Death Knight is, has to TP. He might still die. He's TPing probably to... Yeah, okay, just double click. TP to over there. Buys a healing potion. Skeleton goes down. This fiend uh, might go back. Oh, this uh, footman goes down. The water metal is going for the, uh, the ghoul here. The ghoul takes so much damage. Is he going for the Archmage? Is he going for the Archmage? These uh, footmen is... Oh no, this fiend! Can you save the fiend, Mr. Death Knight? No, he... No, he doesn't save the fiend. Uh, the fiend is definitely going to die, right? Right? Seven hit points. Can the fiend survive? 
No! And the slaughterhouse is going to be cancelled again. I think we're going to... Oh, well, maybe the list can do something. With Frost Nova, the slaughterhouse does survive. Need more uh, skeletons here trying to kill peasants. The death is going to help out a little bit. There's no tower yet. Chamiko, where's your tower? The water elementals, what are they going for? The slaughterhouse is totally up. He's building some uh, statues. He's getting a spirit tower. This acolyte takes some damage for the water metal. This uh, water metal does nothing. Meanwhile, Devlin did a pretty good job here. I guess it's still uh, it was pretty good. Maybe if we can kill some more peasants. Maybe he doesn't get surrounded and killed. It would have been nice. Uh, he does have one coil maybe soon here. There it is. Oh, he's dead. Hey, Chaco. How have you been? How's Lapi? Uh, Lapis? Lapis doing. By the way, is it true that Chamiko is the best human? Uh, Lapis is doing uh, not that great at the moment. He's uh, he's just lonely at the moment because you know Chim Chico let him alone. Chamiko against Sheik game three. If uh, Chamiko wins this game, he will qualify along with Focus, Happy, Orc Worker, Check, and Foggy for the open the ball play open cup. He will also earn 40 US dollars, I think, and he uh, and the Bald Open Cup has $200 prize pool. Do we see a Death Knight? I assume it's going to be Death Knight at this point. I gave up all hope for Dreadlord. It is a Death Knight. What do we have here on the other side? It's a Mount King! Hey, it's going to be a different game. It might not be a better game, it might be a different game though. It's a Mount King. No Archmage, this is tower, scout tower going up here. The peasant working hard, look at him. But this pickaxe, he's building a building. Is that a pickaxe even? Or is this, uh, that's a pickaxe, right? He's doing his, his best, you know, he's doing a good job. Good little job, good job, little peasant. This peasant is doing a good job. Okay, Mountain King is about to be born. It's a hammer? Is that a hammer? Okay. I'm not sure if that's a hammer. This is a hammer though. The one on his right, uh, in his right hand. The one on his left hand is an axe. He has an axe and a hammer. And we have Huggin, Huggin Ironcliff. He's gonna kill all these uh, gnolls. This uh, militia guy is being Michael back. This uh, gnoll assassin is going down very fast. There he goes down, the other one goes down as well. Picks up the Tome of Jitty. Now he's going for the no, the no Overseer. The no Overseer just uh, killing peasants in his free time. This is his free time after all. He was just sitting here doing nothing. So uh, yeah, there comes the Death Knight. Can he kill anything? There, one kill, one skeleton body. Here, some skeletons, come on, I'm spamming it. There they are, skeletons. He sends, spa oh, these guys are so low on hit points. He coils another one. Mother King with his axe. With his hammer, I mean, is looking for the death knight. Oh, two more peasants do go down. How many kills does he have already? Four peasant kills. Two down to coils, two down to skeletons. But we have a level two mountain king. Level two mountain king means bash, and bash means you have to watch out. Does he actually ever use his axe? What I what? How does he fight? Uses his hammer, hammer again. Oh yeah, he sometimes uses his axe as well. I'm not sure when he hits with his axe and when uh, with this hammer. He summons some more skeletons. The arcane tower is up though. There's one peasant here, very long hit points. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. The death knight is just walking over here. Mount King. Count of ogre strength. Like he wasn't strong enough already. He had the circlet early as well. 32 strength, 900 hit points. He is super strong. Circlet, by the way, was the best item for the Mount King. Count of ogre strength is. Either the best or second best item. I, I think the mental of intelligence would still be better. But still, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Bash first, bolt first. Hi guys, hi Danilo Di Franza. Uh, Anima is already out, so we don't have any French, play French players anymore in this cup. Uh, this Acolyte was so dead. Here comes the Death Knight with some skeletons. Did he kill the item? Yeah, he got the Gloss of Haste. He killed the uh, Noel Warden. Got the item. He doesn't see the Mountain King here still. He's stacking, not expanding. This is amazing. The Footman going back home. He was expecting an expansion. Then he didn't see it, so they go back home. Here comes the Mountain King. Here comes the Mountain King. One Footman is kind of hurt though. 186. Oh, Bugger Run! 
little coolie, no! He is dead. That's a dead ghoul. And he's going to the base of Sheik. Uh, where is the Death Knight? He's on his way back home. He's still level 1. We have to watch out. Is Mighty King not a Stormbolt on this ghoulie? Where's the coil? Is the coil in time? I think so. Is uh, Do I think so? Yeah, because the ghoul can walk. He can walk. Oh, do we see a surround on the Mighty King? We definitely see a surround. A beautiful surround there. And he stops out. There's no bash on the Death Knight. You know, he doesn't carry a hammer. Look at all these misses because, you know, he stopped out. And they already started their attack animation. And, uh, you know, it didn't finish. Mountain King going for this creep camp. Meanwhile, we see nothing special just yet. Blacksmith makes sense. He's uh, creeping that. He bashes the ogre. Meanwhile, the Death Knight over here is Skeleton. He takes so much damage from these gnolls. Skeleton goes down. Tome of Intelligence here for Baron Bloodbane. And uh, Hugin, Iron Cliff, the Mountain King. Testament of Evasion, Clock of Shadows. He's gonna survive for so long. He only has survival items. Circlet, Gauntlet, Evasion, Cloak of Shadows. He's never going to die. He's like an immortal Mount King. This ogre is going to die though. And meanwhile the Death Knight just creeping. You know, just creeping. Slaughterhouse going up. Sheik does have very low lumber. He has four ghouls. Double Slaughterhouse. Is he just going mass destroyers or is he going mass abominations? Because you know if there's a Mount King, if there's a single base for a human, We'll see a rifleman, and there they are, rifleman. So if he goes double slaughterhouse, I assume he's going for uh, abominations. Where's the second hero, by the way? No second hero just yet. Maybe so death knight, mass abominations. It's just said to beat the mountain king. The mountain king is creeping over here. The clock of shadows dropped. He got a clause of deck plus six. Nice. Is he getting backpack? Don't see backpack. Is he getting backpack? No backpack. He doesn't have a shop yet. He cannot even upgrade backpack. Uh, little known fact. You cannot upgrade backpack if you don't have a shop. Uh, Blood May second. More peasants. Arcane Sanctum. Beautiful. Death Knight creeping here. These Murlocs, they are going down. Go go rifles. Hey all, hey cheer on. And uh, what is he getting? First of statues. Oh no, is he going destroyers? He's going destroyers. Maybe a few destroyers is fine. You know, to, you, of course you need a few destroyers to dispel the banish, dispel the uh, slows. I mean, if you don't go destroyers at all, they can get, just get uh, sorceresses. You can also kill the the footman. You know, a few destroyers, not bad. No, it's not bad. I was I was not panicking. I was not panicking. Don't worry, guys. I was not panicking. He buys the orb. Is he going to get a fire lord? Fire lord would be amazing. Or is he going to get another hero? Cheer on, welcome. Will you play in <laughs> Chaco Cup? <laughs> Chaco Cup, oh yeah. We were brainstorming about Chaco Cup yesterday. It's not a thing just yet. It will be a thing eventually. Chaco Cup hype. Oh, these ogres are going down. Chaco, you have the first player. Yay! This ogre magi is, uh, is that potion of greater mana. The Mountain King. Oh, he's going for an expansion right now. I, I like this, by the way. I was talking about this. How this is going to be the new meta. Although, Chamiko can just do whatever and win against Sheik anyway. We have uh, two right men here. The skeleton goes down to the Ogre. There's a bash on the Ogre. And there's a Blood Mage attacking the Ogre as well. He does plus uh, a lot of damage. Oh, he got the other one, didn't he? He's almost level 4. The Ghouls, where are the Ghouls going? They're going for the expansion. The ghouls, they know, they know what they need to... No, they don't know! They don't know what to do. He sees now with the skeleton. Oh, he saw maybe the human army retreating. Okay, maybe he knows what to do. Destroyer is going for the tower. Beautiful player by Sheik. Destroyer kill the peasants over here. Ghouls kill the peasants over here. I've never seen Sheik play this well today. We have a level 4 death knight. He's just sitting there. With the orb. Just scouting. You know, just a uh, point of greater healing there. Nice for the Mount King. He kills a footman. The destroyers. Just killing peasants still. Ghouls. Still killing peasants. One dies to a Stormbolt, but that's fine. He has uh, plenty more. There's one peasant left. If he kills it, he need he doesn't have peasants to send because his uh, peons in the main all oh, took a lot of damage. Death Knight has a greater mana potion. Oh, a few, uh, a few more ghouls dying there. Blood Mage also being such an asshole. Killing ghouls. Death Knight, uh, great. 
40 supply against 40, 43 even against uh, 40. Where did the destroyers go? They're over here. Maybe you can do something with those. There's a storm of intelligence. Does it get abominations yet? Yes, and a lich. Okay, we have a bit closer game than the other games. Level 4 Mountain King, level 2 Blood Mages, almost level 3 though. Still looks like Chamiko is doing pretty well, but still, this game is much closer than any of the previous games we've seen. Oh, he wanted to go for this, uh, this guy. For the Red Drake. If a flying creature gets storm bolted, should it fall on the ground? Maybe that's something we should uh, ask for and work with your master to get the drake. Oh, Flute of accuracy, definitely also almost level 5. He sees the rifleman coming, so storm bolt on his face. Do we see Siphon? No, he just attacked once. There's a list. Did he give the orb to the list? No. There's a there's the first fat abomination though. That's beautiful. Chaco, you should do a letter contest where people promote your stream in profile and name and the winner gets a co-cast or a tea with you. I, it's, I don't know. <laughs> uh, he steals a mana there from the Death Knight, he uses a coil, he's out of mana now, even though he gets storm he uses a greater, potion, greater healing potion there on the Blood Mage. Blood Mage takes some damage, here comes the Abomination. Okay, the abomination. Oh, Fosnova is killing this guy. You have a coil. He has a potion of greater mana, uses it, but immediately gets his mana stolen by Mr. Uh, Bloodmage, of course. Well, this guy. Oh, this destroyer goes down. The skeleton's fighting against his rifleman. Can I win this fight? No. And the expansion is up. She cannot do uh, anything about it, even with two abominations and three destroyers. But he's scanning more. Oh, he's scanning disease cloud, getting another abomination. Shouldn't he not get a crypt lord? Where's his crypt lord? Forces are under attack. Normally we see crypt lord against this. Or maybe dark ranger to silence this uh, blood mage and the mount king. The crypt lord is usually what you see against the rifleman. He's getting spellbreakers. Uh, did he just kill this guy? I think he did. What item did he get? Rune bracers is. Uh, all right, against the Mount King, I guess. The Death Knight so close to level five, just 10 more XP. Any kill will do. What's going to Stormbolt? First over on the face. This guy's going to get a coil, I assume. There it is. He almost bashed. I think he was about to bash. He was about to Stormbolt as well. There's a Stormbolt. He's just trying to, uh, to bamboozle the Lich into using the Invul Potion. But the Death Knight has no info potion. Steals the mana from the Death Knight. We have mana for one more coil. Uh, and there it is. Three abominations. What are they doing? Just just hanging out. I think he's missing an acolyte. A player's forces are under attack. No. Well this uh, abomination no, is uh is taking a lot of damage. Or did I misread that? I, I'm not sure if anyone said that. Anyway, <laughs> Abomination goes down. There's a TP by the Mountain King. Uh, we have two ghouls here. They almost killed the peasant. Oh, someone said Mass Acolyte. Okay, Mass Acolyte. Versus what? Could they just creep up and get a larger army? Against this army? Mass Acolyte? That sounds very good. Oh, someone did say I think he's missing an Acolyte. Okay, let's see what item we get over here. Uh, I just gave it a oh, medallion of courage. I guess it's right against these heroes in this situation. There goes all the first stalls. So we have a level 5, level 2 and level 1. Level, yeah. Did go for Dark Ranger and not for the Crypt Lord. Here we have a level 4 and level 2. So the hero levels is definitely uh, one thing in Sheik's favor. He also has 800 gold. What is he using it for? Abominations and... Well, I guess I'm not sure how much lumber abomination cost. Also, he needs to be fast. Oh, he's too late already to creep drag this. We have a crystal ball. Uses it over here. Interesting choice. He buys two mana potions. Okay. 59 against 76. Well, he 
let's go and create this. Oh, there's a silence on the Mount King. There's a storm. No, wait. There is a uh, skeleton that goes down. This guy goes down as well. The the abomination here is taking a lot of damage. The blood mage is stealing all the mana from the death knight. He's now down to zero mana, but he has a mana potion. There goes the abomination. Uh, we have two abominations left. Uh, one right man goes down as well. Uh, he can. Okay, the blood mage is silenced. There's a coil on the abomination. Just not enough abominations. He has so much. He used so much gold on the mana potions and he has gold in his bank. I think he easily could have two more abominations in this fight and it would have been so much a different of fight. There's another uh, Frost Nova. Uh, healing Scroll being used here by Chamiko. Hunter King is a bit low on hit points. Actually, the abomination. He still wins this fight somehow. I'm not sure if he's winning, but he's uh, pushing back the human at the very least. The footman goes down, there's a coil and a stormbolt on his abomination, so it looks like he didn't take any damage. This, uh, this priest is going down for sh sure. And these destroyers, how long are they healing? They're gonna heal, so they're not in this fight. This abomination goes down to so Stormbolt. Can he kill the this hero? He has a mana potion. Level 3 coil is 210 damage, and he kills him! Easy peasy, dead Mountain King. And the destroyers, they're just creeping. Healing and creeping at the same time. These units are a little sick. Imagine 44 acolytes attacking from behind in that situation. <laughs> well, he's uh, all oh, the right man over there. He's going to die for sure. The Dark Ranger found him already. He's death Knight as well. But the Mountain King is back. He has 77 mana. Mana for one Stormbolt. Do we have a TP here, by the way? Or is he overcommitting here? Not on the Lich. Not on the Dark Ranger. On the Mountain oh, Death Knight, yes. Dark Death Knight has a TP. And was this a silence? Did you see silence? I didn't see silence. Oh, the Pell Mage goes to the Coil of Fosnova. So many beautiful damages. Uh, we have two more Abominations walking in. This one gets a Coil. Uh, the Acolyte, I mean the Militia going for the Dark Ranger. The Abomination just attack moves them. What are they doing? Okay, now they're attacking again. And one is attacking a Militia. Uh, that Militia goes down. This one goes down as well. There's a Coil and another Abomination. The Mountain King, he is level 5 now. Level 3 Stormbolt is going to be insane. We have so many skeletons though, thanks to this uh, Dark Ranger. And we don't even have Dispel on this uh, Priest. The skeleton is just going to kill all the Riflemen with the help of the rest of the units. And it uh, looks like Sheik actually wins this game easy peasy. And that means it's not going to be 3-0 finals. It's going to be 2-1. There goes another Riflemen. This Riflemen goes down. This uh, do have a Coil. We don't have a Coil available. Can he kill the Lich? No, no mana for Stormbolt. There is a... GG. Okay, well, we have the fourth game here between Chaimiko and Sheik. Let's see if he goes for the Mount King again. He cannot, you know, if you lose with the Mount King, you have to go Mount King again. If you lose with a strategy, just be stubborn and do it again. Do it again. You have to win with it, else it just doesn't care. It doesn't, uh, it's just unfair. Are there videos of good Night of players? I don't think so. I think there are videos of good Orc players. Uh, there are some videos of good night of good uh, human players. Of course, yeah, good good and dead players as well. But a good night elf player? I've never seen a video of good night elf player. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> what do you mean videos? Replays or uh... <laughs> vods? I'm sure there are, are vods maybe of Moon on uh, YouTube. There's no uh, on Twitch. There is Jack. Jack is a good Night of player, you can watch him. Besides that, do we have any other good Night of players on Twitch? Loliath, Loliath streams on Twitch. Remind sometimes. A player's forces are under attack. Or you go to Doyu TV. Check Loliath live. Oh, Foggy, of course. Also streams on Twitch. Live streams on Doyu TV. So Moon is good, any others? Well, there you got him. So we have a death knight here for Mr. Sheik. Also, uh, Kevin Schramm. Kevin Schramm. Uh, so the death knight, we have a uh, arc base again this game. And there he throws some fireballs. To, uh, there's a coil on the arc mage. And this one skeleton takes a lot of damage. 
Baron Frostfell is level 1. Hide minimap signals really works. I didn't even know that. This uh, skeleton, war skeleton warrior takes some damage. The Lannister, we have a Lannister here for uh, for Chimiko. She gets a Baron, Baron Frostfell. He keeps getting Barons instead of Lords or instead of uh, Commanders. Commander Frostfell would be so much better. The Archmage here is uh, he's level two. The Lannister, he's getting more footmen. There goes another uh, another knoll. His last knoll is going down as well. And this uh, water metal, he did get XP, 42 XPs here for the Death Knight. Okay. <laughs> Where are you giving Kevin Swim? <laughs> yeah, Kevin Swim. He's a force to be reckoned with. We have uh, one skeleton here. Skeleton here, take some damage here from the footman. There's a coil on the Archmage though. The Lannister, he's just coiling this uh, Archmage, he has two more coils available. And meanwhile, uh, he's going for the expansion here, of course, he's uh, still tier 1. Okay, that's uh, as expected. He was about to coil something. Oh, he was too late! What a late, bad coil there. No 48 XP for the Death Knight. Does he get this one? This one's more important even. 225, he does get it, yes. He gets the item as well. Close of haste. Imagine if he got the other one as well. He would be level two by now. He would actually have a chance to win this game. Uh, I mean, he still. I mean, he still has a pretty good chance to win this game. It's going also already better this game than any of the previous games. So uh, we have a good game on our hands again. The skeleton goes down. Oh, the pion! How did it die? Did it go in the gold mine and popped out and still got hit by the fiend? Is that what happened? Was this fiend attack in the air so slow that the peon popped in and out and still got hit by the fiend attack? I think that's what just happened. I think that's just what happened. Well, the death knight here and the fiend are returning. They're uh, running for their lives. The archmage throws some fireballs. He's almost level 2 though. Imagine if he just had 16 more XP. Anything more. Level 2 would be amazing. The Archmage buys the boots. He has the claws of attack as well. This is a oh, super Archmage and he surrounds the point. What a mistake there. Sheik, maybe, I'm not sure if he uh, could have actually... I'm sure he could have done something about it, right? Gets the footman. Finally level 2 death knight. No, nothing will ever get surrounded again. But losing one fiend. Oh, that's so bad. But the Lannister is still level 2. That's something that's good. There's a fiend. There is a slaughterhouse going up and a lich. What's the Lannister going to do? The Lannister, the Archmage, he's going for this creep camp. Peasant suicide. The attack hit while he was in the mine. It doesn't negate damage. No, no, that's not true. Joe, Joe, uh, Joe, uh, one, two, three, three. You can dodge attacks by going into the gold mine. A player's are under attack. Seems a fake Archmage. Right? <laughs> right? We're assured of that, right? Or am I am I saying uh am I talking shit? Am I talking poopy poo? No, I'm pretty sure you can dodge attacks in the gold mine. Right? Are we sure about this? Am I wrong here? Now, now I'm doubting myself. Yeah, you can dodge attacks while going into my mine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have some footmen here. The archmage coming in. He has boots. He summons some illusion uh, archmages, and there's a TP home by Sheik. This uh, ghoul takes some damage. He summons a water elemental. This ghoul is definitely going to die. To die. And uh, Death Knight here is trying to kill Footman. Footman go for the uh, peasant, the acolyte. Do we have a coil on this peasant? We do have a coil on this peasant. This acolyte here maybe could use a peasant uh, coil as well. This fake Archmage is absorbing so much damage from the Death Knight, but the Death Knight has nothing better to do anyway. He's stuck there. Uh, this acolyte is being hunted by an illusion Archmage as well. Where's the real Archmage? The real Archmage is over there. He's quite hurt. He still has five Acolytes, right? Yeah. 
Nice, uh, save the TP. Of course, it cost him a TP, but kills another footman. He killed a bunch of footmen, and uh, I don't think he lost much. He lost one goal. He lost one goal, right? And no acolytes. Or did he lose that one acolyte? He had acoly six acolytes, maybe. But uh, he has five now, so he's just fine. There's another ghoul. Great. Great. Yes, you can dodge them. Of course you can dodge. Okay. Death Knights to love two. Lich is gonna creep. And Skeleton is gonna scout. So we have Destroyer upgrade. He only has one Slaughterhouse this, ga uh, this game. We have a panda second. Did you return to Blizzard already? I'm not sure. We can. There's no way to see that. Uh, maybe if I paid attention and sa uh, looked at what he was buying there, he doesn't have masonry armor just yet. He said, "Oh, he's got upgrading masonry." Can he get a level three death knight? Probably not from this creep camp. This is level two though. Picks up a greater healing potion, and here comes the uh, the human army again. Well, he only has three footmen. This uh, second slaughterhouse being built here, he does get the upgrade done. We have plenty of towers here for uh, for Chimiko. Can he cancel it? I think so. Two water elementals, what can he do? Well, one is gonna... Oh, wait, 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 we have a destroyer. We have two destroyers, so no, the answer is definitely no. Kill it, kill it. Yes, he kills it. Death Knight's almost level three. He's uh, searching for the human, human armies over here. Will he find it? Let's see what item he gets over here. He has boots on the panda, by the way. Uh, first, he's, he's going for the uh, first toss at the priest, and it goes down. Level up here on the death knight. The, the panda gets a parry up. Parry up. Par okay, panda used the info potion. Did he dodge the coil or did he took the damage? He definitely took the damage from the uh, Foss Nova. This uh, footman is at 23 hit points. 24. He's being hunted down by two destroyers. This panda, he, he does a boot, so he's pretty fast. No matter for more coils anyway. He heals him back up with a regeneration scroll. Oh, but the berserker gets Fosnovat from behind, and he's dead. And uh, I think he killed the footman because, you know, I don't see the footman. Maybe the footman killed himself. There's also a possibility. The Archmage Lannister going back into the base. Does he have mana for water elemental? Yes. But he's just a distraction. What do we have? Double, no. One workshop, one arcane sanctum. That's it for now. And the Archmage. He's over here. The water and metal, where are the destroyers? Where are they? They're over here, I see. So you just have to kill him the old fashioned way. But he does get level three lich. Level three, definitely level three lich. He's building more statues. We'll have a lot of destroyers soon. There's only a few towers here. Even less tower, no, same amount of towers here, but he's building one more here. And he's not building one more here just yet. So not that many towers. Is he getting Masonry level 2? No, no Masonry level 2. He's getting Priests and Spellbreakers. He has uh, one, two workshops. He's not building flying machines just yet. And here comes Sheik. Uh, Chamiko is definitely, he's low on Lumber. On this map, there's no Shredder. Uh, nothing here. Oh, wait, what? Did something happen? I'm not sure. There's no sappers, so I don't think I missed something. He moves his gold peons in position to repair this uh, tower. We have four destroyers. I think this is just going to be broken. Can Chamiko defend it somehow? Don't think so. Uh, there's a coil saving the destroyer. Just one tower left, and then arcane tower. Uh, oh, and another tower. Okay, he kills the arcane tower first. No, he kills the guard tower first. Does he have another coil? No. Oh, oh my god, is this enough? Is he defending? No. Okay, for a second I was like, what? Players forces are under attack. Players forces are under attack. Well, he's creeping over here. The destroyers are... Uh, what are they doing? Are they gonna scout? Are they scouting? What are they doing? I don't understand. If you scout, that you don't move like this. Is it is a misclick? Is he... He assumes that the human is creeping over there somewhere? I'm not sure. Not sure why he went Panda. Panda is kind of the new standard in this matchup. Oh, we have Panda 30 here for uh, Sheik. There's a, there's a Breath of Fire. Panda, usually with Blizzard, you can hold off uh, Fiends and uh, the other guys. 
uh, meat wagons a lot easier. For exactly what cup are they qualifying? The ball play open cup. Panda is also better for base race. We have gloves of hasty for chic. Okay, he's creeping with the panda. That's what uh, the destroyers were uh, doing. They were like, okay, we're no longer needed. I guess I will go creep with them. But if he stayed over here with the destroyers, all these peasants would be dead. So I don't like it too much. Oh, actually, maybe I was afraid of the flying machines. Move them out. Uh, okay, actually, this is actually never mind. I think it was pretty good there. Putting better the, the destroyers. Was afraid that he was about to be overrun by the flying machines. And he's creeping with them with the panda. And then the panda will be level 3 to fight the flying machines. How much hit point is an acolyte? 220. Is it worth it to build two acolytes and use dark ritual instead of buying mana potions? Probably another level one dark ritual. Okay, he's gonna kill uh, some peasants. Because you get you get like what seventy three mana or so, and it costs twenty five mana, and it also costs a supply until you eat it. Four destroyers over here. Is a panda level three yet? No, but if he keeps this, he will be level three. Sure. Uh, oh, critical strike, seventy damage, critical strike there. The Lich is kind of isolated now, but there's no Mountain King, so he should be fine. He should be safe. There's only Holy Light, but it's only level one. The Panda here is uh, level three now. He has a, a Claws of Hay, Claws of Deck. Nice items for the Lich. Oh, there's a... F oh, oh, this guy. Oh, no, he's dead. And the Destroyer just uh, went down the drain. This Fiend is being Michael. Does he have Burrow? No Burrow, of course. No. Oh, the Archmage was not paying attention. I assume he had the TP. Didn't TP, he also didn't Holy Light. Here come the flying machines though. And the uh, Breath of Fire is on cooldown. We have no Spirit Towers. We don't have Web either. And actually all the fiends are dead. And the Panda. Okay, the Destroyers, four Destroyers. He's gonna kill this Panda, right? Can he save the Panda? It doesn't have Staff. It does have Boots of Speed and no Holy Light. But still, uh, is that enough? Actually, there's no more mana for uh, Frost Nova. And no more mana for Coil either. Just one more Breath of Fire. I guess he's going to survive. Maybe the Paladin is the next target. Does get an attack of all. Oh, no, the Paladin. No, he goes for the Panda. Wait, the Paladin has no more mana anyway. Arkmas is back. And he does have a TP and Claws of Attack. Oh, Frost Armor. Frost Armor? What's Frost Armor for? Frost armor? Can you uh, take control of frost armor? I assume you can, right? Prize money is 40 US uh, dollar and you qualify for the ball play open cup, which is uh, has a prize pool of 200 dollars. Finds a panda here. He's uh, does he have frost nova? Not yet. For a flying machine, flying machine goes down. We do have a coil, no coil, and holy light. Force Nova available pretty soon. Better be careful, uh, Chamiko. Oh. Nice breath of fire. So many damages. And he kills a few more. Or actually did not kill any. He finds some peasants. I'm not sure what they are doing over there. This uh, guy should be careful as well. Don't uh, go out on your by yourself. Breath of Fire is no longer on the cooldown. He has mana now for a Frost Nova and a Coil. There's no towers here. These peasants are in danger. These peasants, hello peasants, you guys are going to die. I'm sorry, I'll tell your family you love them. Guys, if these peasants are your family, they loved you. Frost Armor against nothing. No, you can't steal Frost Armor, okay. You can't, but it's still a bad idea, yeah. I mean, you know, knights, I guess. There is a knight, and a paladin, and a panda. That's it. But yeah, I'd rather have the other skill, either unit. Especially now, you would have level 2 either unit skill. The list, by the way, has two gloves of haste and that uh, cause of attack. 
Dark Ritual is the ED. Oh, this no! Bye bye. Oh, he survives. He survives. I have super ping. 300 milliseconds, and I'm still doing a great job of uh, casting this game. So you guys realize this? Imagine if I had uh, 10 ping. How great would my commentary be? 300 milliseconds, and still have a great commentary. Okay, here comes uh, Chamiko. 64 spike and 64, but I just like the heroes for Sheik so much better, even though he has that uh, false armor. And he doesn't split up the fighting machines like Blade did. What is this? Why is there poison greater hitting on the floor there? Who, did he, who dropped it even there? What's the unit that was carrying it that died? I'm not sure. There goes the Paladin. Uh, this uh, knight. 484 hit points. Does he even have the upgrade? He doesn't have the hit upgrade for extra hit points for knights. The animal war training. 59 splying and 66. My first name will be Son Chaco. Chaco, you are the best. Super pink, super caster. <laughs> I got the best lol. What'd you a give to your viewers, man? I give entertainment. Okay, that's it. This uh, this farm is going down slowly. How oh, does he break this? He he doesn't have to break it, does he? Does he need to break it? He's going for his own expansion. Doesn't need to break it. 56 supply against 69. Of course, that's a, a question by Razor Man, <laughs> who plays super aggressive. He always thinks, how do I break my opponent's base? We have uh, flying machines with a bomb attack. So they can attack Grant. 2-0 flying machines. 1-3 destroyers, by the way. <laughs> Chaco, why didn't you ask 100 kg for a better host? It's because, you know, I want to show you guys that even with the high ping, I can be a great caster. So you guys know you can rely on me. Even if uh, conditions are bad, you can rely on me. With so many destroyers. 70 spike and 57. We have a priest over here, a scouting priest, scouting the shop. Did someone pick up this item yet? No. Did he see it maybe with the fine machines? There's a great healing potion there. Death Knight has an info potion, by the way. But what about the Lich? The Panda. They don't have anything to save themselves. But, uh, you know, there's no Mount King, so you cannot really nuke those heroes. You may, might have to go for base race at this point. That's why he got the ground attack, of course, for the flying machines. He's going for the base race. He has a panda. Panda's great at base racing. He's going to kill uh, as much as he can here. Still has a water elementals, no uh, blizzard. And he is going to lose his peasants, but is he? Does he have a TP? Oh, no TP. He has to walk all the way back. Oh, he's going to lose so much. The flying machines killing this tower. The heroes and etc. killing the tomb. The acolytes now being hunted down as well. Is this a game losing mistake here by Sheik? Not carrying a TP. The Lannister is level 4. He's now going for the Haunted Gold Mine. Here come the Destroyers. Do they have mana? No, but they're just fighting. The Panda can't get to a good position. There goes the Gold Mine. He kills a few with the Breath of Fire. And the Archmage TP is out. Sheik is still 10 supply up. I mean, I don't think it's game losing just yet, but if he loses this game, of course, it is because of this mistake. So, uh, oh, did he pick up the potion? No, no, the potion is still there, right? She can't win if he doesn't break this natural expo. No, I don't think he has to break it. He doesn't have to break it. Like this expo doesn't have that much gold, right? 3k left. This expo only has 3k left. This Bane has 4k. Sheik has uh, 12k. He just needs to endure. He just needs to endure and he will win. I don't think he needs to break it. Uh, Razor man. The panda here. The paladin comes out. There's a holy light on the panda. Here comes the flying machines. The panda here will defend. Shouldn't he get panda inside his base with an orb to protect for his child? He should definitely get the staff on the panda. Well, he is defending here with the, like you are saying, with the panda. If he just buys a staff teleportation though, he doesn't need to stay at home. He can always staff home. What should Sheik do to win this game? Just keep playing. Just uh, kill, you know, maybe put some pressure on this base. And uh, kill units, kill heroes.
just defend. Just defending is good enough. If he can defend his expansion, it's good enough. But it doesn't even seem like Chamiko knows there's an expansion there. And just make uh, trades that are good for him. Like if he kills his knight, I mean, that's just a good trade. He didn't lose anything, he kills a knight. If he keeps doing this, that's just fine. Okay, now the Barrel Metal scouts this expansion. Better upgrade these towers to f to defend it because uh, else water elementals are going to be such a pain in the ass. The acolytes there aren't even important. There's only uh, 1.6k gold left in this gold mine. Oh, thanks! Once a paladin. And this tank goes down. Panda defense here. more uh, tanks. Do we need meat wagons for defense? Probably. He could just uh, camp over here as well. Or camp... Uh... A player's force no, I mean, that's not good, of course. Then the human can kill everything over here. Panda goes in defense against the tank. Archmage takes some damage. Lannister. Level, level uh, 3 Panda. There's a breath of fire. All these peasants take so much damage, of course. Acolytes, I mean. Uh, Archmage TP's out, but that means also the tank will TP out. Oh, they came from behind. We only have four acolytes here, by the way. Maybe. Okay, we have two here. My player's forces are under attack. They came from behind. Is this one? Is this empty? 12k. 12, uh, 1200, I mean. 1.2k. Here come more tanks. This tank is also going to die. Do we have... Uh, let's see. Sheik does not have a lumber. Maybe he built a ghoul. She could use a ghoul. This tank... Is dead. I kills a coil. Uh, kills a acolyte with the coil. Uh, if he also builds, if he builds ghouls, they can also help defend against these tanks. Sheik's still going to lose this. He might still lose this, actually. Necropolis is, uh, well, I mean, it's a pretty good game. Necropolis is going down slowly. Goes down. These acolytes are being hunted down. Here come the destroyers, though. Eating the water elementals. What is he going for? The paladin? Paladin has a, uh, he has a greater healing potion, finally. They are forced off on the Paladin, these uh, Acolytes take a lot of damage, one goes down, there's a Blood of Fire. Meanwhile the tanks in the main, killing this uh, base, or trying to. Yeah, he won't get the main. These Acolytes should, oh, no, I don't know, maybe repair? He doesn't have Lumber Man, Sheik. Doesn't have gold left either actually. Uh, Three hundred gold left over here. So even if uh, even if she never gets income again, he still has his expansion for now. Chamiko cannot win a fight this game, right? He will have to go for a base race no matter what. Level five death knight, level four lich, and a panda that's uh, level four. And mass destroyers. Literally, the only chance I think Chimiko has is uh, to kill every building. This is only win condition. But with tanks, of course, that is a pretty good win condition. There's another coil, but yeah, the Archmage, Holy Light, level 1 Holy Light saves him for now. He's now out of mana, this Death Knight is. Here come uh, two tanks. Are under attack. Panda's gonna defend it, but three tanks, they will probably take out the expansion. He only has 9 lumber, he cannot really repair. So, uh, he first kills the Ziggurat. Oh, the tank actually, only one tank, the other two tanks go to the main. Archmage full mana. Oh, the Paladin! What a mistake there by Chamiko. Letting the Paladin die. This base has also all, only 1k gold left, so uh, Chamiko is almost completely out of gold. I think, uh, yeah, this base does go down. There's a breath of fire. This uh, acolyte 
if he somehow could have defended this game, I think Chamiko would be in, uh, she would be in prime position to win this game. But losing this base, let's see the panda. Where's the archmage? The panda is going to die. Where is the archmage? Here he is. Doesn't have boots. Does have staff. But there's only four buildings left for Sheik. And I think he's just gonna lose. Oh, he's building a Necropolis over here. Okay. So then maybe... Uh, I don't know yet. Oh, level 5 Lich. Where's the Flop Nova? The Archmage has a TP. Or he's dying. He's dead. I mean, he's... Uh, he, he, okay. He just dies. And the Panda will kill these tanks, of course. There's a tank. He's gonna scout this base. Sheik, maybe he wants to sell an item so he can build a second Necropolis somewhere. He does have the staff on the panda now, by the way. And uh, he's using the ping. He's like, oh, that, that uh, TP was late, but he only has 74 ping. He stanks. Staff to the Eggline. The panda. Chamiko hasn't found a uh, Necropolis yet. Chamiko is almost out of gold. 800 gold. Oh, and the Paladin will find it. The Paladin will find it and the tanks are going. And the spellbreaks are going. And the plank here is going at some point. The flying machines maybe will help as well. Is it just going all in or not yet? Not yet, I guess. It's maybe... This tank's easy kill. Easy kill the tank. Kills the tank. Level 5 Panda. Maybe pick level 3 critical strike, does that make sense? Oh, he builds a second Necropolis, but we all know where it is. I think the Spellbreaker even knows where it is. So, uh, I guess he did sell an item or did something. He has enough uh, gold to build a second Necropolis. The Spellbreaker takes a lot of damage. Panda was hunting. Maybe not hunted down with the Panda, but with a different... Uh... <sighs> he finds the Altar, but you know what? Destroyers will take so long. Does he find a paladin? The paladin is going to die if he uh, is spotted. Actually, no mana for coil, but the Frost Nova alone should be enough. There, paladin is dead. And these tanks. Kill the tanks. The tanks are gonna be. Uh, I think they will kill this Necropolis. And then the second one as well. Does he have another Acolyte, so uh, Acolyte somewhere? Maybe sell your items fast and build another building somewhere. You have Acolyte here. Oh, the Acolyte is spotted though. He cannot build something, because even if he does, the tank will kill it. I think uh, Sheik is about to die here. Can he kill these two tanks somehow? Where's the panda? Where is the panda? He has a staff. Okay, he sells the items. But what is he going to build? Is this his only acolyte? Or does he have another one? Oh, no. Well, actually, maybe... Oh, they don't do extra damage yet. This doesn't have fortified armor yet. So the tanks don't do extra damage. And he does build a building over here. But it's going to be cancelled. Did he get it? He cancels it. Uh, Panda was a bit late to the party. And Chamiko had 17 gold, 46 supply. He's rebuilding the Panda. Sheik is just trying to survive with his building. There's a Spellbreaker. Uh, Spellbreaker is going for it. He, does he... Oh, he buy, build, rebuilds the Necropolis over there. Breath of Fire on the, on the tank. One Spellbreaker. Chamiko thinks it's the last building. Doesn't realize there's another building. Uh, this tank is going down and this spellbreaker as well. Chamiko going down to 34 supply. He, and flying machines. Oh, two tanks. Two tanks. Two more tanks. He's building more. Maybe he should uh, save up his tanks. Go for one full fight. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's the plan here. Do we have more items here for Sheik? He has uh, only his staff. Oh, he has some items on the list. He can still sell for one more building. Uh, if he really needs it, he's close to the shop. The panda sells his ring of protection, buys the info potion. There goes another tank. This tank, is he going all in? There's a breath of fire, the info potion used on the panda. Uh, Sheik did not sell the items. And he stops the, the tank, but the panda is dead. Is the Sheik still winning? There goes, there goes another tank and a berserker. This uh, berserker goes down super fast. The tank is being out blocked, a body blocked. But he does get one shot in. The Acropolis is still up. He has an Acolyte there, but no gold. 19 gold, 9 lumber. Whew. He's death and DK now. What does Chamiko has? 20 supply. A lot of it is flying machines like, uh, and peasants. He has one tank and that's it, I think. One tank and besides that, peasants and flying machines. One, two, three. Three flying machines. They won't ever kill this. And now the destroyers by themselves. 
can just hunt down everything while the, the heroes are gonna defend. Sheik is gonna win this. Sheik is gonna win this. There's no chance anymore for Chimiko. There's one tank, there's uh one, two, three, four, five. Wait, what? How many supply does he have? 15. Wait, this one will go down. GG. Chimiko wins it. What a beautiful game there. Wow. Anyway, this game, so the, the barracks is go going up. And we see the Archmage going up. What Archmage are we gonna get? What Death Knight are we gonna get? Are we gonna see a Landazer? Or maybe a Fortret? Or are we gonna see a Manath? What is Manath Mage Singer? Are we gonna see what are we gonna see for Archmage? And what for Death Knight? Are we gonna see Baron, Baron Morte again? Are we gonna see a Lord, Lord Death Storm? Or are we gonna see a Duke? Duke Wintermall or Lord Malde Mal Maldazar. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna see? I'd invest in uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Chuck we need merchandise. Maybe, maybe at some point I will do it. You know, like a high to chaco banana suit. High to chaco banana suit. Okay, we have a uh, uh, Nilas, we have a Lannister again. Lannister again for Chemiko, the richest Archmage in the entire land of Warcraft. And he has a belt of giant strength. On the other side, we have a Death Knight, Lord Soulbender. Chaco, what's the biggest donation you got? Uh, it's, you see it right there, actually. Right here. Uh, love, donation, this stands for donation. Elysium, $50. That's the biggest I got. Death Knight here. Ch please one thick lapis for my sweet loyalty over boobs. <laughs> okay, what item did we get here on Archmage? The Belt of Giant Strength, I already said it, but uh, it's not that uh, bad against him, that, of course. The extra hit points is not that bad. You need a boob job. If I get a boot job, I'm sure I get bigger donations, that's for sure. There's uh, more footmen. Death Knight. Some some skeletons over here. There's no Arcane Tower yet. It's close position. Pretty bad for Sheik, of course. He had to move so far for, with the Death Knight before he could harass. Two skeletons from here, two skeletons from here. Let's see if we can kill any peasants. They summon militia. One summons a militia. Oh, this peasant is dead. This is the cooldown. The cooldown is almost done. We have uh, four skeletons here. Killing the peasant. This peasant takes so much damage. Archmage with the footman defending the peasant. So low on hit points. Your boobs are fine. Don't go for a boob job. Oh, oh. Now I get mixed uh, signals here from my chat. 50 XP on the death knight is two dead peasants. But there's no expansion up yet, of course. Because uh, if he creeps this, this is pretty difficult to creep just after you grab this. With four footmen. Okay, he's going for this one actually. But the Acolyte Scout is there. He kills the sheep with his Frostmourne. Here, uh, there's a fiend. The first fiend is on, a, on his way. Chaco, do you live in or near Amsterdam? No. I mean, by car, it's about uh, one hour. Which some people would say is living near. But in the Netherlands, in one hour, I can get anywhere in the Netherlands. In this pretty small country. There is the fiend. And he uh, attacks this uh, this footman. This foot oh wait, what is he attacking? He's attacking the footman. Yes, no. I don't know. The feet is attacking the footman. The skeletons are just walking around. The water metal went down, but no one got XP for it. He kills the level three ogre though. 48 XP. The skeleton goes down. Who gets a water metal? It's actually gonna expire, I think. Yes, it just expired. Rah, rah. He got uh, something else, I guess. A second uh, level 3 ogre, maybe, as well. Makes a lot of sense. He's 123 XP. No, wait. 50, 48, 98. There goes another peasant. Maybe more peasant. I'm not sure. Uh, this ogre here is fighting against a water elemental. And now... Uh, he is, is he going for the ogre? He gets the ogre. Level 2 death knight. 251 XP. Lannister is level 3. He's got a clause of attack plus 9 though, so he does a lot of damage. But not insane amounts of damage. I have a friend who lives in Rosendahl. 
Uh, I don't know exactly where that is. Sheik is very good. I didn't expect this from him. Neither did I after the first two games. But now he got back on his horse. And uh, takes control himself. Slaughterhouse is going up. Lich is going up. Ziggurat is going up. Three fiends. I got to see your friend. Thanks for the stream. Say hi to Chico and Lapis. Okay, I will not run. Did you visit Germany a little? I've been there like once or twice. So, uh, Death Knight. Two skeletons and three fiends. Oh, he kills his sheep! He summons skeletons from the corpse of the sheep and sends them into the base. There's no tower yet, but there's some footman defending. However, this footman, 79 hit points. Maybe the skeletons can kill the footman. Death Knight take, took a lot of damage. We don't have boots yet on the Archmage. He does have a staff. And two more skeletons running in. Is he going to try to kill this footman? It's just an attack move, it seems like. And oh, first down from the Archmage, but he's just fine. These units are all hurt. He needs a statue. First statue, second statue are being built. Uh, he surrounds the water metal. That's some nice XP. 58 divided by 2, of course, is uh, 29 for the Lich and 29 for the Death Knight. Death Knight takes a bit of damage. First off on the Archmage, but he's just fine, right? Yeah, he's just fine. And his footman sur survived as well. The skeleton attack. Okay, well, we have a water metal. Oh, that uh, expired. What's the Death Knight going to do? Buy a potion of healing, maybe? He will send the statues to the Lich? No? Yes? And here, we are going to keep here for Chamiko. He's creeping a little bit. The statues on the way. He buys the orb, of course. Doesn't need the potion of healing. What am I saying? Oh, hello, footman! You wanna... Uh, I have the orb to test out. Yeah, it works. Yeah, hey, the orb works like always. Hey, thanks for helping, footman. Now I can give this as a present to the Lich. Water Mantle walking past. There was no orb yet, so the Water Mantle survives easy peasy. But the Archmage! Okay, that goes to creeps. That's kind of a mistake because he's going to the base here. No, he's going to defend. Does he have. Uh, did he retrain yet to Blizzard? No, Water Elemental. Where's Mr. Death Knight with the orb? Got a present for you, Mr. Uh, Water uh, Windsor Lich. It was no from the Archmage, I mean. Sure. Coils the fiend, gives the orb to the lich, and now we see some super damages. What's he gonna kill? He starts off with the towers. Uh, does not get one just yet. Lich is out of mana. I feel like he used his uh, first half was a bit too too easily on that archmage. This fiend might go back. So many militia. If he had just one first half on right now, it's really so easy piece to hold off. Footman here, going to the base with ghouls defending. This fiend out oh, me, Michael. Had Skeletons being summoned. Uh, this acolyte goes down. I mean, militia guy. And uh, footman dying slowly. But he kills two acolytes. Uh, one actually. This one survives from now. But no, he just died. So two acolytes dead already. And one more at super low hit points. Can he kill it? Probably. Right? But uh, yeah, he's reaping the acolytes. The ghouls defending. Okay, his forces are under attack. He's going for this guard tower. Lich loses his mana. No, definitely loses his mana. Lich is level 2 now. This fiend, super low hit points. He needs to save his mana. He needs to save the fiend. He's almost at 75. One more spirit torch. There it is. Where's the coil? There's a the coil. Saves the fiend. This uh, statue maybe might put out of range of this uh, arcane tower. The water metal goes down. Definitely is almost level 3, by the way. Do we have a uh, destroyer form yet, or what? He's building more statues. Do we have uh, armor? We have masonry level 1. There's no arcane towers over here, by the way. Well, Fiend is pretty on hit points. He has more towers here than here. At least he's building more. A town is under siege. A town is under siege. Oh, my the king is out. He can easily Stormbolt his Fiend to death. Actually, no, that's not true. There's over 100 hit points. Stormbolt on the Death Knight. Mount King running for his life. And his life is his. And we have a destroyer following the Archmage. There's a water mantle. You can eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on, eat it. 
Eat the water elemental. The Lucifer Destroyer to an Archmage. Hello, Sheik AFK. Sure, he was doing micro over here, but uh, he was AFK at the same time. These peasants uh, take some damage. We don't have mana for another Frost Nova. This footman takes some damage as well. Two statues in the back. Oh, one is completely out of mana. Needs another. He should be using Spirit Torch, maybe uh, manually on this Obsidian statue, because this one's out of mana. He needs the mana for more mana for more Frost Novas. Okay, now he's using Spirit Torches. Okay, here comes the Archmage. He attacks this uh, statue, 50 Spike and 34. There's a Destroyer, can uh, can Chimika defend it somehow? There's a Healing Potion on the, on the Mount King, the Stormbolt on the Lich. Lich is down to uh, pretty low hit points. Don't have another coil, but uh, the Mount King is too slow to catch up to the Lich, and the Lich will be just fine. This Mount King is uh, using a heal potion, I think. He is just fine as well. We guard Doom for it, by the way. Definitely finally level three. The Lich is back, and he has mana for a Frost Nova. That's gonna be so nice. Look at all these peasants. Actually, they're full hit points. These peasants are hurt, but uh, these peasants full hit points. He summons some destroyers, two destroyers, is that enough? Here come the flying machines though. Turbo workshop, mass producing flying machines. I'm not sure if they have flag cannon just yet. Uh, but they are they gonna be just in time or just too late? This destroyer is sniped. Is he gonna be sniped? Do we have a coil? Uh, we don't have a coil. He's definitely going to die. This tower is also going to die though. Alright. Yes. He eats a water mantle, maybe a Frost Nova on the Archmage. TP out. They came from behind. And uh, let's see if Chimiko can make a comeback. It's not over. But uh, these peasants, he's going for the altar? He's going for the altar, okay. Doesn't kill the peasants just yet. How many flying machines do we have? Six. He's getting flat cannon, he's getting knights. I mean, Chimiko, if you can just hold off. If you can just hold off for a few more seconds, I think he's going to do just fine. But he needs to hold off. Here come the militia. Let's see if the flying machines win this fight. Uh, yeah, one destroyer goes down super fast. Uh, two more destroyers. I don't think they can win the fight. Maybe TP would be in order. No, he summons another destroyer. But uh, okay, he does kind of win the air fight. She does. There's one fiend. It's super long hit points. He goes down. They came from behind where two, two destroyers are taking the Paladin. Why the Paladin? Why not the Militia? They go down super fast. Okay, Paladin. Sure, kill the Paladin. He does... Does he get the Paladin? Doesn't have any mana for spells. Do you have mana for Stormbolt? Oh, he gets a Paladin. No mana for Stormbolt. This is level 3. And the destroyer is hunting down this uh, flying machine. Some peasants dying. 41 supply, 40, 39, 38 supply against 37. Still pretty even in supply. Shredder is just uh, chilling in the back, just doing his work. Oh, these peasants. These peasants. What do they do? We have a panda. We have a panda for sheep. And we have flying machines. Okay, these peasants are going down. 5k left in the main. 4k here, 4.3k. And the flying machine is killing this destroyer. Uh, the fiend here got stormbolded and he went down as well. Now the flying machines do win the air fight. And uh, there's a panda finally. There's a breath of fire. There goes another destroyer. This destroyer is probably also going to die here pretty soon. And there go all the destroyers. So now it's just heroes for uh, sheep. Just heroes and skeletons. Oh, the shredder though is going to eventually die here. The panda here. What is this breath of fire? Nice breath of fire on like uh, nothing. And he goes down. Archmage. Again, we have false armor, by the way. The Archmage goes... Uh, goes does it go down? Do we have another spell available? No coil. No false nova. He didn't have uh, either unit spell because he has false armor again. So he cannot eat the skeleton for a few more extra mana points to stormbolt this uh, Archmage. Archmage gets away safely. There's a false armor again. So even less uh, mana for... False nova. They came from behind. Oh, Stormbolt. Level 1 Stormbolt, just level 1. He's definitely, it's just safe. 
Mark must take some more damage. And the Mount King. Oh, the Holy Light guy is back. Oh, TP's out just before he can get Holy Light and then killed. So he Holy Lights the uh, something else, the uh, Mount King probably. How many peasants do we have left here? No peasants. 38 against 32 supply. And it does look Players like Chamiko might stabilize here. He has the orb, uh, I mean the staff. Staff on the Archmage, staff of Sanctuary. He's gonna creep. Meanwhile, we have uh, someone else creeping over here. This is Sheik. Sheik going for an expansion. Is he going for. Is he going to attack soon again? What is he trying to. Where's his destroyer? Does he have any. No, he didn't have any destroyers left. So the flying machines are just checking out. The 2 1 upgraded, by the way. The undead units are. Um, I don't know. The upgrades. I assume 0 0 on the destroyers. Flying machines scouting around. Two knights here. Here comes Chimiko. 45 spying at 44. But uh, oh, he does form a destroyer. I was just about to say it's uh, the flying machines are completely useless if it's just uh, ground against ground. It's just two knights with uh, heroes. And he eats the water elemental. Of course, with the panda, you can take the air fight. Paladin then use the info potion or info divine spirit thing, the divine shield, I mean. Uh, Stormbolt on the Death Knight. He has a healing scroll to save himself. Flying machines, one flying machine does go down. They came from behind. We don't have a TP, we have uh, no info potions left. Stormbolt, so. Stormbolt to keep. Oh, we do have the staff, of course. But also Stormbolt to keep the Death Knight away. This flying machine is just uh, a present. Present for you, Sheik. Chamiko went over 50. 52 supplies. She got 50. Oh, what is this? Is this another present? No. It's not a present to Sheik. It's just a knight that got the... Oh, but the paladin. He is so dead. And again, there's still there's no towers here. So he will be forced to fight with all his flying machines. We're so bunched up. The Breath of Fire, of course, it's all of them. Besides uh, a few that came in later. But do the flying machines still win the fight here against four destroyers? They don't have mana. Uh, we need another f a breath of fire. Oh, he doesn't have mana. Where he needs a spirit torch. I, I don't think this guy is spirit torching. He's just using health. Yes, essence of light only. Anyway, night goes down. Uh, a lot of the flying machines went down anyway. Charmika down 38 supply. Sheik still have 55. But remember, Sheik's gold mine only has 1.8 gold. Uh, 1800 gold left. Paladin finally died. And this gold mine has uh, over 5.5k gold left. Let's go for the castle. Getting some peasants. With the ghoul as well. Death Knight is, is not level 5 yet. Panda is not level 3 yet. It's just 442. And we have Chamiko keeping here. He has 4 and. Oh, oh, actually, almost 5. This is going to be 5. 5 and 3. And what item does it get here? Uh, cat, oh, Catcar Gem of Health. That's nice against these heroes. But she, he can smell it. He can smell exactly where uh, Miko is creeping. The flying machines see the destroyers. The Archmage and the knights, they run. They run, but can they run fast enough? We have a staff. He can always staff out the Mount King. But remember, we have a skeletons here and a ghoul. So if he staffs out the Mount King, he needs something to save his Mount King as well. From the evil ghoul. He staffs the Mount King. Okay, he staffs with the Archmage. If he dies, he loses the game. But he does not die, and he will save the Mountain King with his Archmage. But, let's see, the destroyers are on their way. Death Knight is almost level 5, the Panda is almost level 3. Still. Uh, this Mountain King might still die. The flying Machines defend against the uh, destroyers. And there's only 1k left in the gold mine. There's a Breath of Fire! Kills one Flying Machine and, and did some damage to the others. Better hurry, Mr. Mountain King. Does he not? Where's the Paladin? Oh, he lost his, his altar. If he had a Paladin, he could have saved the Mountain King. But... Is, where's his Paladin? Why is he not rebuilding the Paladin? Does he have a Paladin? There it is! I heard it. There the Paladin is. He saved the Mountain King. Heals him up and he can move again. There's a Stormbolt on a Death Knight. 
Flying machines flying around there. Two, zero, two, one upgraded. These guys are zero and one upgraded. They eat some more mana. Is he going for this base? Is he going to crack this base? Three, only three guard towers, but also two arcane towers and one more available tower. No, he doesn't go for this base. 57 supply against 48. Why doesn't she prepare for expand? I'm not sure. I would like to see an expansion from him as well. The Death Knight is almost level 5, Panda is almost level 3. There they are! Tome of Strength. And also a Belt of Giant Strength is nice for the Panda. This castle's burning. And well, if he's going to kill buildings here, he's just wasting his time. He's just going for the castle. I mean, what is she going to do? I mean, what's Chamiko going to do in the meantime? Of course, killing the castle does that the the nine knights. He should probably already attack here, maybe, or if he's just not going to build knights again, maybe build a tier two building if he wants one. Arcane Sanctum. I don't know what he wants to do, but the castle here got another breath of fire. He's slowly going down, and we see counterattack decks. The main is out of gold. Fifty spike against fifty-seven. No tanks will be able to build be built either. So no tanks, no knights. Flying machines, um, flying machines, and uh, that's it, I guess. What else is he going to build now? Workshop can can build mortar teams, I think. But yeah, you're not gonna build mortar teams in this situation. Mount King uh, takes some damage, and now if he stops, by the way, he stops to displace. I don't like killing the castle too much, unless you're really afraid of the tanks and knights, I guess. But the staff is now very useful again. These knights are totally safe. They are protected with, by the towers. Flying machines. I don't know. Well, he's going for an expansion right now. Finally. And uh, what is Chaimiku going to do? Is he going for another expansion over here now? He is uh, finally has a bit of rest. Finally, she li lets him uh, rest a little bit. Let him do whatever he wants. Uh, there's nothing left really worth his time to kill in this base. Okay. So Ogre's going down. The Archmage is already level 5. Better move him away. Okay. He will get a level 3. Oh, not yet. He wants a level 3 Paladin. This expansion going up. We have here, we have a level 5 Death Knight, level 3. Okay, nothing changed. What item did he get? The parry up. Gives his Tome of Agility. Of course, uh, he smells. Sheik knows. This is going to be crap by Jamiko right now. Doesn't pick up the Tome. Maybe to pretend like he never was. Maybe it's a debate. Oh, the Paladin, is he close to level 3? He's close to level 3. There's a Stormbolt of the Death Knight. He doesn't have anything to save Mr. Death Knight, but Mr. Archmage needs a Holy Light. He can stop the Archmage. Maybe to dodge the coil. Holy Light. There's a Stormbolt. Oh, stop! Stop the Archmage. Now the Paladin, Paladin has Divine Shield. He should be fine. Did he dodge the coil there? I'm not sure if he did. Stormbolt on the Death Knight. 64 supply against 57. Oh no, the Paladin is taking so much damage. Can he save the Paladin? Paladin could buy healing potion. No, he's still tier one. He cannot build uh, by healing potion. Archmage, oh, worst position ever for the Archmage, but Chamiko doesn't see it really. All he needs is like the Lich here and it keeps attacking the Archmage forever. Archmage will fall eventually. So many flying machines. Like I was saying, he cannot build anything besides flying machines. They don't have the ground attack. Like he can build footmen, riflemen, mortar teams. But those are not units you want to build in this type of situation. So he has so many flying machines. We have a lot of uh, destroyers as well. If only they had the ground attack, you could actually use these flying machines to kill this expansion easy peasy. Paladin is uh, being resummoned. Can't the flying machines? <laughs> uh, 12, 24, 27. 27. He should upgrade ground attack. He has no castle anymore. 
you need a castle to upgrade the ground attack. So he first needs to go to keep, then to castle, then he can upgrade the ground attack. I'm surprised he still didn't go to keep. Two groups? You think it's just two groups? 24? Maybe. Probably right, actually. Probably just 24. No, he has more. I think he has uh, two groups plus four, which is 28. <gasps> Breath of fire, it's so many of them. But he's just all in, he's just gonna kill this uh, destroyer. No, he's not. Wow. They're burning. 125 damage, of course. But did he not upgrade when the castle was about to die? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you forgot them. Okay, well, he's uh, he's going to this base with the Archmage here, with two knights and a shredder. Paladin is back, is he, and he's building expansion over here. This peasant is doing nothing. Help, help, Mr. Peasant. The acolytes go down super fast, of course, against the shredder and the knights. But I feel the battle should still be won by Sheik. Or is or do we have no flying machines? But even if the flying machines win the game, uh, the air fight. Flying machines. The, the ground dunes, the heroes of that are still strong enough to win the ground dune. Ground fight. The panda gets Stormbolt. He has one more Breath of Fire available. Actually, uh, all the destroyers do go down. Archmage is staffed out. There's a Stormbolt on the Death Knight. Can he kill the Death Knight? There's a frost armor. Where's the Breath of Fire? Where's the Breath of Fire? There it is. The, the Mountain King takes a lot of damage. He's dead. Paladin is next, of course. No, no never mind. His knights are next, of course. These knights don't come back, there's no castle. These knights are a one-time deal. Both knights go down. Does he build acolytes? Sheik needs to rebuild the acolytes. This uh, shredder is fighting. Sure he's strong, but can he be, be the panda? No. And the paladin here, uh, he might save himself. What's he gonna buy? Invis and dust. Whew. And where the, the... yeah, there's nothing here to kill him. There's no AoE attack you can do. Maybe frost over your own Death Knight. Can you do that? Can you frost over your own Death Knight? I don't think so. <laughs> also, you could just move your Death Knight next to the Paladin. And you can always, you know, move around and see where the Paladin is. Then frost over your own Death Knight. But I don't think you can uh, frost over a friendly target. So, uh, Panda here is creeping. Flying machines are 2-1 upgraded. Death Knight here killing some farms. We cancel this building. He cancels his expansion, so the the list will sky. Oh, nice tome of agility. That's what the list says. Nice book. I love reading. And these peasants walk. This peasant walk back right in time. Whew. What a sneaky peasant. Chamiko is so sneaky. I've never seen someone so sneaky as Chamiko. But the Archmage goes back and he kills another peasant. The Paladin is here to defend. Archmage TP is out or uh, staff of TP. Sheik is 25 supply. Sheik is uh, has the stronger heroes, but it's so hard to get this expansion up and running. Although actually, there's very little to get, uh, attack it. There's no tanks this game. Flying machines don't take ground. There's no knights left. It's just the heroes for Chamiko that are being annoying right now and killing all these peasants. Chamiko is trying to get his expansion up. Maybe he should build a. Sacrificial pit here. So he, first of all, he can save peasants, and he can build shades. Well, ah, shades against the flying machines. I don't know. He's creeping here. Might still be. Ah, actually, shades might still be fine. I'm not sure how expensive uh, sacrificial pit is. He's creeping here. Let's see that the flying machines are flying around. As long as uh, sheep does not build air, these units are completely useless. This is like uh, how many are these? 12, 12 supply here that for Chimiko is completely useless. So it's actually 26 against 26 supply. This base is out of gold, by the way, just to let you guys know. So this is only gold base, and this is the only gold base for Sheik. So it's so GG. It's not really GG. I don't even know who's going to win. Level 5, 4, and 3. Here we have 5, 5, and 4. There's a Stormbolt on Death Knight. Can he kill the Death Knight? He's going for it. He's going for the Archmage. The Archmage has the info potion. There's a coil. The Archmage has to be stopped. Oh, Holy Lighted. That means the Holy Light did not go to the Death Knight. The Stormbolt, though. He's hunting down. The uh, Death Knight can he kill. Oh, nice info potion. Dodges the coil. Coil. Oh, and the bash! 
is not enough to kill the Death Knight. It was almost enough, but the, instead the Archmage is in trouble. Okay, he's still alive. Do we have another Breath of Fire? Oh, another coil from the distance. Archmage goes down. The Archmage is dead. The Death Knight is out of mana. Statues, uh, I, I'm not sure. The, uh, the We have one Stormbolt available in a second. But the Frost Armor, there's the Frost Armor. We were always talking about Sheik getting Frost Armor and making fun of him. Now the Frost Armor pays off against the Mountain King and the Paladin. Oh, Maddy. We have Maddy for Sheik. He can always slow something. Death Knight probably wants to go back on the Blight. Okay, he's, he's just uh, healing up. Gives his health items to the... Moves his health items around. Do we have Stormbolt? 45 hit points. I'm slow on the Mountain King. Oh, there's the only light. No, the Mountain King is dead. Is Chimiko just... Is he... Over committing, is he just throwing away heroes? He lost his archmates, he lost his mountain king, he has an expansion up. He might have thrown away the game there, but you know what? It looked good for a second there for him. He's finally going to tier 2. He is at the keep. His altar is rebuilding the mountain king, and the paladin is probably also going to die. He's slowed by the muddy and uh, coil nova. Actually, was there nova? It was just a coil, I think. He is dead. Do we have altars? Okay, well, let's see. Once Sheik is going to scout this, sees the flying machine. Doesn't realize they don't attack ground. <laughs> they're they're useless. They're futile. Futile. Maybe you should have grabbed the uh, red creep cans with them. Nah, they have one. They have one purpose, of course. As long as they're in the air, she can't build destroyers. And here's the scout. There's a ghoul scout, and that's gonna be GG. Maybe this ghoul scout is gonna win Sheik the game. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. And the panda is he gonna buy stuff and just stuff? To that expansion, it does look like it, right? Yeah. And there's a nice breath of fire. But these peasants are going to die. Archmage is back from the tavern, I think. The mountain king. Okay, he's, he gets his heroes back. Is he going to castle? No. A town is, under siege. is he going for an island expansion? No, he doesn't have that much gold. He just has enough gold to get his heroes back. And maybe next time. He can kill a Death Knight. That's what he's banking on. Death Knight had so much hit points. Maybe kill the Panda. Where's the Panda? Panda, even without items, has over 1k hit points. Lannister, level 5. Mount King, level 4. Paladin, level 3. On the other side, we have 5 5 5. Watch out, flying machines. Oh, we have one destroyer again. But this is just a bait. He's just baiting the flying machines. Okay, that ghoul. Is that ghoul uh, being killed here? Archmage, maybe? No. The militia are going for it. <laughs> Three militia against one ghoul. I'm not sure if they remain militia long enough, though. They still have miles to walk. They're only uh, one third left of their militia time. They're 1 1 upgraded, though. But the ghoul is 0 0. Maybe if she does not pay attention, he might lose his uh, ghoul. Okay. Oh, he, he's paying attention, all right. A player's forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Uh, I hear the dead flying machine, but we sell plenty more there. Okay, now well, this ghoul against five peasants, easy win. There's a stormbolt. He does have staff, by the way. Could always stop to the ghoul and kill it, but uh, he defends here, I guess. Meow! Uh, I'll read it after the game. Uh, there's a stormbolt on the mountain king. Uh, on, the uh, on the panda. The mountain king is slowed. Alta okay, paladin is out. The ghoul retreats. I'm not sure why does he retreat. Okay, now he goes back in. Did he pretend to staff? No. Staff is uh, not on cooldown. Flying machines? 
should he even try to defend? Should he try to protect the ghoul? Uh, I mean, protect his expansion and attack this at the same time? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a stormbolt on the panda. On the flying machines. <laughs> there's a first number on the paladin. Use the info potion. Meanwhile, this ghoul is just killing everything. He can rebuild peasants, I guess. I guess he can rebuild peasants faster than the ghoul can kill them. Is that true? Does he have nothing? Oh, he's building more flying machine. Is there absolutely no way for him to defend it? I think he should just uh, stop one hero over. He has the staff teleportation. Protecting this base is pretty important. But which hero do you stop? Well, of course, if you lose this position, you also lose the game. So you need the Drones Aura here, you need the Stormbolts here, you need the Holy Lights here. Mud Golem. Is it gonna slow? No. Well, okay, his forces is under attack. Well, this this ghoul is attacking the peasants. That's what's happening. He's uh, oh, he's repairing his flying machines. Can we, oh, we have a lot of destroyers again. Flying machines, they can probably win the fight now, especially that the, the pandas over there. That he can maybe get a level six archmage. Uh, maybe if he moves his other heroes back, just go for a level 6 Archmage. That may be his win condition. Try to kill all the... Well, the pandas back now. Try to kill the flying machines, get as much XP on the Archmage. Uh, he's focusing the panda with his heroes. And uh, he needs another Bash or Stormbolt, that would be nice. But Golem, Met Golem... Oh, Paladin has to use the Info Potion. There's a breath of fire again, killing so many flying machines. But the flying machines will kill these two destroyers. There's another Holy Light on the Mountain King. And uh, this flying, this destroyer will go down the other one as well. But the Mountain King, oh, he used the Info Potion. So he didn't lose a single hero. The Paladin has to be careful. Oh, but the Paladin, he is very low on hit points. Do we have another Stormbolt? No, but the Mountain King goes down. The Archmage is also pretty low on hit points. And he dies, GG. GG. And Sheik wins this game. And he wins, he wins the qualifier even. Uh, at least for... Let me say GG. These were Chimiko fans, means we might have Chimiko again next week. Qualifier number seven.